to frame this up, uh, actually, I'm going to I'm going to do something a little a little weird here. A little out of character. We are here to talk about um, Freedom Week, the events of Freedom Week and how that leads into Global Entrepreneurship Week. Uh, but what time is it? It's not quite 3.30. Okay. I got 3.28. So. I've been here for uh, uh, 88 minutes uh, going live. I really need to uh, step off stage, and I'm going to uh, bring in the stunt double, Edgar, to be the co-host for a minute. All right. Let's, uh, let's and, jump and, in on and that. And learn all about you and what you're working on. Learn all about me. I think uh, I think this audience already knows all they need to know about me. But <laughs> but uh, what's up, man? How's it's it been going? a while? I know. It's been a while. Let me move this thing. Yeah, we'll get adjusted. Get adjusted. These uh, right. these were a good investment. The mic stands and the microphones, and we're uh, we're getting a lot of use out of these in the community. So good. I'm happy. All right. So we, Jason, we spent you... uh, we spent Saturday going live for about four hours from Tech Alley downtown. Yeah, I saw so. that you guys were at Taverna. We were, yeah, which That's is a good. great place. That roof deck is a great place to uh, to broadcast from. Yep. So one thing Dave asked me is, what are you most excited about, and what are you what are you looking forward to with Freedom Week? Wow. Um, so Freedom Week is going to be, I think Dave's given the rundown, right? Yep. He talked about all the uh, the events we have booked for sure. We have, we, I don't know if he talked about what we have maybe come in, if there's, but um, what I'm really excited about is I've been, I've been involved in both the veterans community in Las Vegas and the startup community for about nine years, not quite yeah. 10 years. I retired from active duty in 2015 um, and got involved kind of a little bit in the veterans community, but mostly in the starter community. Right. I was one of the students as, that was part of Rebel Venture Fund, yep. which is a student-led angel investing fund at UNLV. And when I was working on my MBA there, I got involved with that. Great experience. If you're thinking about going to UNLV, join Rebel Venture Fund. Yeah, uh, You will learn what goes, you, you will do real deals with real money to invest in startups and, and you will learn a ton about running a business, investing in a business, looking at a business, evaluating a business. Yeah. Great experience. Uh, and if you have any uh, any opportunity to do that with like a fund or an investor or something like that, take it. It's a great, great experience. Yeah. So I got involved. And so I've been through the ups and downs of the startup community. When I got here in 2015, that was kind of the tail end of downtown project, yep. Tony Shea and downtown project. And Tony was still around. There were a lot of good things going on, but the the momentum that had been there just a couple of years earlier had kind of tapered off. And so we were kind of into a down and then we were into an up again. Yep. And I've seen, you know, we kind of go down and we go up a little bit, then we go down a little bit, then we come up a little bit more again. And what I'm excited about is as we're bringing in groups like Vets in Tech mm. with all the, all the power and partners that they have to bring nationwide yep. with some of the other partners we have for Freedom Week is we really have an opportunity with Freedom Week to get this flywheel turning, mm. to really get momentum going in the startup community, in the veteran entrepreneur community, and the intersection of both of those. So that's what I'm excited about is we have a a guest list that Dave and I are working on for yeah. specifically the Vet Cap events on, I believe it's July 11th. Right. We have a guest list we're working on to try to bring those movers and shakers and players from not just the veteran entrepreneur community and the veteran startup community in Las Vegas, but the startup community and the veteran community and also the active duty community and the guard and reserve community on mm. base. And then all of the folks, all of the employers who employ veterans or yep. want to employ veterans. And so we have a real opportunity. DraftKings is going to host us. We have a real opportunity to do a really do a really solid event with the vet cap on the 11th to bring some of the big players together, get to know each other, spend time together and start talking about, what are some things we want to go collaborate on next mm. after we talk, after we hear from the panel on VetCap? So, yeah. so that's yeah. what I'm really excited about is it's not, the event is not the end all be all. Freedom Week and the VetCap event are the beginning of what I think are going to be some really good things going on throughout the summer and uh, escalating to a really fantastic Global Entrepreneur Week in November. Yep. And then escalating even further to do good stuff going on. So I'm excited. This is a, this is not, this is not a culminating event. This is a beginning. Oh, 100. percent And when you say that, the thing I think about, right, the analogy is when we throw that rock in the water, mm -hmm. right, and you see the ripple effects that happen from that, and seeing the the bigger impact of what most people focus on is, hey, we threw a rock in the water and it hit mm -hmm. the ground, right? It hits the, the bottom of the sea or the yep. bottom of the lake, but the ripple effect that that creates is greater 
and knowing that it's going to propel bigger things to come for our community. Yeah. I'll, I'll know we were really successful with Freedom Week because it won't be because the events were successful and people had a good time and made contacts and all that. Yeah. It will be because after Freedom Week is over, we'll have a bunch of people coming to us saying, why didn't you tell me I would have loved to have been part of that? Mm. How, what's next? How do I get involved? Right. That's how I'll know we have a successful Freedom Week event. All the events in Freedom Week is people say, I want to play. Yep. I want to be part of it. And we're, and we're on track for that, <laughs> yeah. the way things are going. Yeah, that'll be fun. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be part of the journey with you guys and you know, using my voice to try to promote and say, hey, you can get ahead now versus having that retroactive mentality and let's be more proactive of, hey, together, Dave and I, and we're talking about it just a second ago, right? It's unity with community, whether it's our local community, our veteran community, or our startup community. At the end of the day, our goal is to make a bigger impact here in our local economy. Yeah, and, and not just those communities, but like c connecting to the communities we're not typically connected with mm. as a veteran community or an entrepreneur right. community. UNLV, CSN, mm. Nevada State College, the the hospitality industry stuff on the strip and off the strip downtown las vegas all the all the bars and restaurants on fremont east like yep. come be a part of this come be part of freedom week it's not just the vet cap event that's going to be great that's going to be the centerpiece it's going to be fantastic but the 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 entrepreneurs library the veteran entrepreneurs library mm -hmm. some of the other events that that we've talked about like there's going to be room come down to those events we're going to we're going to keep we got three weeks right yep we're going to keep talking about them online and our social media on live streams like this Come on down if you're interested in working with veterans, if you're interested in collaborating with veterans, if you're just interested in collaborating with good people, come on down. There's going to be like, we're going to be doing stuff like this. Like I'm, and this is what I'm really excited about. This kind of started a, last month is like, let's go, let's go take some of the equipment we've accumulated over the last couple <laughs> of years. And like, let's go do live from Tech Alley, right? right? And we talked about it for months and then schedule conflicts and that kind of thing. But we finally got it going last month. And now we've done this. We've done the Las Vegas Robotics Meetup. We've done here today. So let's let's just keep doing this. Let's keep let's keep getting uh, getting the cameras up, the lights up, the microphones up, and let's keep getting people in these chairs talking about what they're doing, so that people both in the room and on the other end of that camera can see, oh, that's cool. I want to be part of that.